Hello, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to this video all about these taps. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at the different types and we're going to look at repairing and replacing these taps. So without further ado and waffling, let's just get on with it. Now, in part one we talked about cold taps and how to replace the washer inside a cold tap. This time in part two we're going to look at hot taps and we're going to look at how to sort out the quarter turn or lever taps. So first of all let me explain how we're going to turn off the hot water so we can work on these hot taps. If you want to see how we did it on the cold water look in part one. So if we had a combination boiler or a combi boiler as we like to call it then it's coming direct off the cold mains. So underneath the boiler there is an isolation valve on the cold water coming in. Not every boiler the cold water is in the same place but a lot of the time, well most of the time, it's where your filling loop is connected. So the 15mm the small pipe going connected via the filling loop to the 22 the return pipe. So that gives you an indication which ones are cold and it will have a lever on it whereas the hot won't have a valve on it. So you should have two 15mm pipes under your boiler, the cold will have a valve on it to turn off, the hot, no. So the cold comes off the mains, goes through the plate to plate heat exchanger which is heated by the burner which then comes out to your tap hot. So if we want to turn the tap off, water to tap, we can just turn it off there. Now if you've got the cylinder with the system in the loft there should be a service valve underneath your hot tap whether it's in the kitchen or whether it's in the bathroom but if you haven't then there should be an isolation valve on the cold water indirect coming in to the bottom of your cylinder so you could isolate that valve then go to your tap, turn your taps on and you should run out of water. If you haven't got that valve or you haven't got service valves on there then you will have to isolate your ball float valve because every ball float valve under the water rig requires a service valve and then you'd have to drain the full water out of the system. Worst case scenario you're going back to your stop tap, turning that on, opening your taps and letting all your water out. So that's how we're going to turn the water off so let's have a look at this tap over here now and let's get it taken out. Now, this is the hot tap we're going to be working on. But before we turn the water off, let's look at the tools what we need. We need an adjustable spanner. We need a flat bladed screwdriver. And we also need a Phillips screwdriver. And if you saw part one with the cold water, you also saw I used a piece of 32mm waste pipe. We also need a cloth or a towel to go into the bottom of the sink so we don't damage it. But the combi boiler what feeds this tap is behind you there. So let's get the water off and let's get cracking. So to turn the water off on this combi, we just need to place a flat screwdriver in the valve, twist the valve till it goes horizontal across and that should turn off the water. Now, first thing we need to do is make sure the water has stopped running, which it has. We can now take our towel and we can place it in the bottom of the sink so we don't damage the sink. We can now take our flat bladed screwdriver and flick off the protective chrome cap. Now take our Phillips screwdriver and we can remove the head. Okay, we're now left with the uh, head of the tap, or the mechanism of the tap and the body of the tap, so we need to take that out. So in the last video, you saw me use a piece of plastic pipe, do that, and use an adjustable spanner. But for a better grip, we can actually use um, a ring spanner. 
So let's get a ring spanner and let's have a go. Now, got a 17 milli ring spanner. Get our piece of plastic on there. Or we could cover that and then get a pair of water pump pliers on there. Or if you're strong enough, you can hold it. But get our piece of plastic on, get our 17 milli ring spanner and off it comes. So let's have a look at the mechanism on this quarter turn tap a little bit more closely. Now, this is the quarter turn cartridge. So you should actually see the two ceramic discs in there. And when I turn the tap head, you can see the discs close. So that's turned off. Open that up and you can see it will allow the water through there and it will come out of the slots here. So that's how the water comes in. So remember it comes through the bottom there, out through the slops and into the spout. Now, why have we got this red um, rubber washer on the end? Well, that's because it goes to a hot tap. On the cold one, there is a blue rubber washer and that's because the taps are handed. So if you get them the wrong way around, your taps will turn the wrong way around. <laughs> So it's important you use that into the tap for the hot tap and the other one for the cold. Now then, um, you'll find a lot of people go that all the hot taps need to be on the left in the UK. There actually is no regulation to say the hot tap needs to be on the left hand side of the sink or the wash basin. In America, yes. In England, no. Um, now people say it has to go on the left for the blind people so they would know whether the taps are hot or the cold but they can tell whether it's hot or cold just by touching it where you wouldn't so um, yeah it is a code of practice to say that the the hot tap should be on the left hand side but there isn't actually a building regulation or the water regulations don't even mention it but as a standard we always try and put the hot tap on the left and this is what this washer does so we can they are handed so we know which one to uh, put it into so if i take this washer off so if i flick the washer out now there is a brass holder in there and then we've got the two ceramic discs so the discs come out that's the top one you can see that so that's the bottom and you can see there's little grooves in that one which fit into here so the grooves in there so you can't get it wrong and you can see that they just rub face to face there's actually the ceramic is what we're rubbing against each other so you can check and make sure there's no scratches in there because otherwise, if there was scratches on those two faces, then they would pass. So that's the two ceramic discs. So can we just get any ceramic disc and put them in these taps? So let's have a look at that. Now, there are loads of different types of cartridges for these quarter turn taps, but you must get the right one for your tap. And you can see there's loads of different measurements you need to be able to make for these taps. Even down to how many teeth the spindle has, where the handle goes onto, to the actual length of the body. So all these measurements are very, very important. I find eBay the best place to buy these cartridges because they give you all the different measurements for all the different cartridges you can buy. You can also buy converter kits which should fit most UK taps. Now, before we put the head back into the body of the tap, a couple of things. First of all, this red washer isn't just to show it goes in the hot tap, it's also a rubber seal which seats on the bottom of the tap on the seat. So what you need to do is you need to take your little pinky and you need to put it inside the tap and you need to gently just move it around and be careful because if it is um, nicked it could cut your finger and you just check it and making sure the seat is flat so this washer will sit on there and make a seal because if that doesn't make a seal the water could come up on the outside and drip through the tap so 
if you change your ceramic discs and it still drips out it could be this not seating properly down at the bottom so that check to do before we put it back now to uh, put it back in we just reverse the process Well, again with our plastic uh, pipe tighten it up with our spanner put the top back on the plastic cap on and let's get the water back on so let's turn this water back on so just the opposite of what we did before we now put it in line so it's vertical and that's now the water back on now let's uh, take out the towel turn the tap on and it's as easy as that so, if you've liked this video on uh, quarter turn taps or ceramic disc taps on a hot tap, then why don't you give me that thumbs up? Or you can leave a constructive comment down below. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then please subscribe because it helps the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we release videos mainly on a Wednesday. All we've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and tune in to next week where we're going to replace these taps. See you then. Cheers.